The Lord says to New York City. The Lord says to the state of New York. From the beginning, I filled your land with dreamers, with innovators and reformers. I drew people to you that would think outside the box, beyond the status quo, and that would dream of more. I drew explorers to you, not just explorers of lands, but explorers of possibilities that was beyond the, that would have a, the boldness to imagine the unimaginable. Those who would do what others said could never be done. I put overcomers, I put conquerors in your city, says the Lord. I called you to be a place of creativity, beauty and grace that others in the earth would long for. I drew people from all over the globe to come and find safe haven in your arms. For this reason, says God, I called you to be a place of firsts, a place of foundations, a womb that would birth kingdom reformation for the nation. I called you to be a city of miracles with the sounds of joy and freedom. Your famous ticker tape parades at the end of the war symbolized the sound this city was created to make. A sound of victory resonating with throughout the land. However, the Lord says, the recent smoke from the Canadian wildfires was an example of the toxic atmosphere over New York in the spirit. Your rebellion and perversion of everything good and holy and true has polluted your spiritual atmosphere. The occult practices, idolatry, godlessness have allowed demonic hordes to take up residence over your beautiful land. But I heard the Lord say, but I'm getting ready to blow by my spirit over New York. I'm getting ready to blow by my spirit over your city, over your harbor, over your boroughs. And I'm gonna to begin to clear the spiritual air, says the Lord, so that people can breathe again, so that the dry bones can breathe again and come back to life. Even now, says the Lord, there are things preparing to shift in government. Be ready, says the Lord. It may not look like what you think, but the Lord says, I'm up to something because there is a shift coming in your city, says the Lord. I am covenanting you back to me. Keep praying, keep repenting, keep decreeing, keep turning things around, says the Lord. And I heard God's heart for the city. I heard the Lord weeping over the city. Father, we break every word of judgment. We break every word that's come out of the mouths of even believers that have said God's going to destroy New York. Like Nineveh, God gave them a chance for awakening. And I heard the Lord say, I love this city. I love the people of this city. I love the gathering of humanity here. I love the innovation. I love the creativity. I love the nations. I love the generations. I love those who love the idea of me. I love those even that are bound in false religion right now. I love those who have decided they hate me or ignore me or decided not to believe in me. They've dismissed me. The Lord says, I love them all. I'm going to blow upon them, causing scales to fall from their eyes, says the Lord. See, we've got to tap into the heart of God. The spirit of revelation is coming to this region to remove the veil. Those celebrating evil, promoting it, playing with it, covenanting with it, are getting ready to have face-to-face -face encounters with evil itself. They're going to be confronted with the demonic forces that they've been worshiping. And it will scare the living daylights out of them. Can I say it this way? It's going to scare the hell out of them. Come on, the hell needs to be scared out of them. 
The Lord says in the midst of this unveiling, the fear of the Lord is going to fall, which is the beginning of wisdom. And it's going to begin to usher in revival. I'm going to shake them to the core, but they will turn to me. I will bring the fear of a fear of God revolution to the city of New York. It will start here. It will hit the media. It will spread throughout the nation. The Lord says there is a new Jesus revolution that is rising up in the earth today. The last one started on the West Coast. This one's going to come to the East Coast, says the Lord. And people will not be able to deny the signs and the wonders that you see. The Lord said, you see, Leviathan has taken up residence in the New York City area. The seven-headed monster has one head in each of the boroughs, one head in the harbor, one head in New Jersey. He's called the king of the children of pride. He seems to be an undefeatable foe. He hates me. He hates revival. He thinks he can't be stopped, but God says he's going to break Leviathan's head to pieces. He's going to put a, a hook in his jaw. He's going to pull him out of the river. The birds are going to feast on him. The Lord says, I'm going to deal with the seven heads of pride and rebellion. I'm going to deal with it, says the Lord, because of your prayers. Lord says Leviathan's name means mourning. Sorrow, mourning. And each head has made sure a stronghold has been established in rebellion to God. And the Lord says, I'm going to traumatize the spirit of trauma that has been rooted in the city of New York. There's been a spirit of grief and trauma over the city through the years. There's been continual pulling the scab off the wound, keeping it festering, re-traumatizing again and again, weakening the people, keeping them fearful, keeping them intimidated. But Father God says, I have come to heal your wound. I have come to pull the spikes out. I have come to heal the infection and to rise up as Father God, the mighty man of war who will fight for you, New York. You must believe. You must believe. You must release the sound because there is a voice war over the city. The enemy's voice is loud, but the Lord says, I want you to know that when you make a sound, it's like the four lepers that began to walk when they were at the besiegement of the city of Samaria. And as they began to walk, as they began to walk, the Lord says that the enemy heard the sound of the marching of an army, the marching of a heavenly army. And the Lord says that I will do a lot with a little, says the Lord. All I need is a remnant. All I need is a few. All I need are those that will believe me. All I need are those that will rise up and say, I believe God that reformation can come to the city of New York. Oh, I believe, Lord, that as I make a sound, all of heaven begins to shatter the voice of the enemy. All of heaven begins to resound with victory. So release a sound. Release a sound. Release a sound. Release a sound.